What a day in my Alright, hopefully everything's working. Alright, hello, okay. Welcome to today's podcast. How are you guys doing? Hope you're having a good day. Thank you for tuning in. I am the Stelter. And welcome to a brand new uh, podcast every Wednesday. We're going to be doing a cheeky little podcast about just random shit. And today we're going to be doing some about stream advice. I have a very special guest. Um, Hold on, before you introduce yourself, sir. I'm just quickly go ahead and move out there we go. Alright, so would you like to introduce yourself, um, sir? Uh, sure. Hi everyone, I am Elephant. I mostly stream RPG games on Twitch and make some music. And I am very excited to be a guest on this podcast. Alright, it's great to have you, man. Thank you for tuning in. Um, Thank you for having me. Yeah, it's been a great... Um, it's been good to have you, like, you know, it is only a short notice, and uh, it's good to have you here. So, uh, Demon, I see you, how are you doing, sir? Um, but, yeah, so, there's going to be a couple of things we're going to be talking about today, uh, but the main thing we're going to be talking about is stream advice, because I know a lot of people out there are kind of confused on where to start, so, I guess this advice won't be, like, spectacular, it'll just be alright. Um, but yeah, if you guys are looking or watching live, thank you very much, I do appreciate it. Um, so yeah, Elephant, thank you very much. Um, so, without any hesitation, I think we can dive right in. So, the first question I want to ask you, Elephant, and give us an honest opinion about this, is what would you give someone who wants to start streaming? So like, what advice would you give? Yeah. Um, but honestly, just not hesitating is what I would advise them. Because many people, they like, they want to start streaming, but they always wait for the right moment to do it. And they want to have like the best microphone or the best overlays or the best camera. And honestly, your first stream is never going to be like the best stream it's always gonna start pretty bad and then you kind of learn from experience so honestly if you want to start streaming i think just go ahead press the record button try it out and then when you start seeing uh, certain things that you need to improve you can improve it step by step but the first step is really press the go live button in my opinion yeah, so as as we were saying, like, yeah, hitting that go live button is always a good start. But you gotta remember that you're not gonna be getting anywhere just hitting the go live button and expecting like 50 million people to join at a random time. Um, I feel like personally, with this, like, yes, like you said, it was a million dollar question. Uh, but, however, there, there is a bit of um, idea that you've gotta like try and like be confident, like, you know, because at the end of the day, if you're not confident enough, then where are you going to start? You know what I mean? And I feel like, you know, confidence in that building a connection with your friends and all that is key when you start. Because if you don't have anyone to back you up, if you don't have anyone who can help you at that small push, then you're going to struggle. But when 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 you say um the best equipment do you think that's really necessary what what would you recommend in terms of equipment if someone wanted to like invest in a certain amount of equipment what would you recommend um again it is super individual and it really depends on where you are starting as you said some people have many friends and if they can bring those friends over to their stream so they have a huge head start they'll have like 10 average viewers they'll get like um, affiliate in no time and it's a very nice head start 
Um, but some people like me, they start from zero. Like you start from zero viewers and you have to kind of bring people in. Um, so when you start like from nothing, having very expensive equipment, um, automatically will rise your expectations. If it may se make sense, like everything that I'm saying is from my personal equipment, uh, from my personal experience. So when I started streaming, I obviously had like zero viewers, but I had like this um, vision that if I have like good lighting and great camera and get great microphone, so somehow people will automatically be drawn to my stream. But this is like very far from reality. I think when you're starting out and you don't have viewers, um, don't waste my like money on equipment. I think there are other things that are more important than hardware to invest in. Yeah. Indeed. Also, also like if you look at streaming, um, it, it also depends like how what what is streaming for you. If you look at streaming as a business, so you really need to I think at least get to affiliate before you invest any money in it because if you have put your money into streaming before you have ever experienced it and felt how it feels like to be under camera for hours and talking to yourself and to chat and being entertaining for a long time if you haven't felt it and you were like spent all this money on equipment then you might just find yourself disappointed that you have spent all this money on something that you don't like or like you feel uncomfortable doing of, in my opinion. of course and i feel like personally that that small start um as you were saying like yeah affiliate and all that good stuff but i feel like the start is you don't want to be wasting money straight away. Like you said, wasting money straight away, it can be, like, valuable. Because, like, if you think about it, what if you waste money on random stuff and then eventually, when you don't want to do streaming anymore, you've invested all that equipment for nothing. So that small push from now to affiliate, take that as, like, a hobby. And that can be, like, a good start on whether you want to get better. And that decides, like, if you enable that affiliate, that means you're going to stick with it, you're going to try stream when you can. Yes, you can take breaks in between, but you've got to make sure that you feel confident and ready. Because if you don't feel confident and ready when you enable that affiliate, it can be a lot time wasting and no one wants that, you know? So, anyway, moving on to that, uh, moving on from that, um, there was another question, and that would be, what potential things would you say to include in a stream? If you wanted to try and set out your stream, for example, on OBS or Streamlabs OBS, what would you include personally? Like, overlay-wise? Like, anything in general. Like, what would I put into my, my stream? Yeah, yeah. So, like... Any like sort of overlays, maybe a camera, a microphone, you know what I'm saying? Um, personally, I use like, I don't use fancy overlays. For me, I believe that less is more, especially because I play like games that have like a lot of visuals. So I don't want anything to distract from it. So I have like my camera, then obviously my custom alerts uh, that are going on. And that's basically it. And I also, of course, have uh, like the starting soon, the be right back and, uh, and the chatting scene uh, for when I'm not playing. But when I'm streaming games, it's honestly, I just have my camera. Do you personally think that any sort of sound effects or anything would be used like to make I, it a bit more I attractive? I do have like sound effects as channel points just for like so people will have something to do uh, for like I don't know entertainment and stuff outside of watching the stream. 
Um, but yeah, mostly like on channel points, I have sound effects and then like alerts. So if ever anything happens, like someone subscribing or uh, raiding me, so there's like music going on and stuff. So kind of bring the hype up and make the stream a little more lively. See, one of, one of the people in the chat, um, his name's Stop Club, it says, um, a camera is extremely important unless your gameplay is pro level. Do you think you agree with that statement or what? I partially agree with this statement. I think that's like, that can be true um, because you kind of connect with the streamer like more personally. But for example, I have like a very good streamer friend who is, who doesn't use camera at all. Um, but his viewership is like insanely high because he's always so energetic. And just his voice enough and the way he's like leading the stream is super entertaining. And I even feel like if he had a camera, it kind of would like make the stream less like entertaining because he's just so hilarious to hear. So it's very up to the, up to the like streamer, in my opinion. All right. Okay. Well, that that is actually really good. Um. But personally, I feel like streaming needs to be energetic as well. Because if you think about it, you know, people want that high energy. They don't really want that like low energy. Because if you think about yeah. it, and if you got low energy, you're gonna have a very huge problem. You know. Um. So anyway, moving on from that. Uh. What 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 overlays do you think would be necessary? Like, do you think you need complex overlays or would you need simple ones? Like, what do you personally think? Like again, um, for certain cases, I believe less is more because sometimes you really want to focus on the gameplay and you don't want like continuous explosions and overlays and everything is so colorful, distracting you from the actual content. So sometimes, even most of the times, I'd say less is more, but sometimes less is less because. I've seen many streamers that like their overlays just look boring. And I feel like when something is aesthetically pleasing, it kind of make you want to watch it more. Um, again, like your main goal as uh, like when you're starting is that people will feel drawn to you in like 10 seconds. Cause imagine you're watching Twitch and you have, especially if you're on PC, and you have this little bar on the left side where you can kind of go to other streamers. So when someone is coming to your stream, you kind of have to make sure they're not going to other streamers and have them like stick to your stream, basically. Yeah, I mean, that is a... Makes sense. Yeah, to, uh, that's a really good point, actually. Um, we've also got someone in the chat, Demon Joker. He says that it's all about... Yeah, hi demons. He says it's all about being yourself and having fun with or no camera. So, moving on, with that statement, I feel like because a lot of, if a lot of people a lot of people know me and when I started, um, I've seen people uh, who try to stream without a camera be not energetic at all. If you can, you could technically do streaming without a webcam. You that, but the energy has to be there. If you can have high energy, at least like express yourself somewhere and like in a visual way. So like, I got a little scared to use a webcam at first, and I'm sure you did as well, mate. Um, but you know, at the end of the day, once you once you like feel confident and energetic, you'll you'll be fine. And at the end of the day, that's what everyone wants. Um, also, stop collaborate said. Uh, I've lost count of the of streams I've tried to support, but they've had no camera and very little voice interaction, which means they can't connect. So yeah, the connection is key. Do you want to um, add to that or? Yeah, I think you have. It's exactly as you said. Either you have like very high energy, all the time, and like you can have no camera but very high energy. And then people will always be drawn to your stream or at least have camera and people will see like 
emotions and how you like react to different stuff in the stream. So having at least something that make you connect with the viewers is necessary, in my opinion. And uh, yeah, I mean, I I totally agree with you there. Um, he also says that he's not he's not um a high energy person normally, but the camera reminds him that he's been my energy. So I like how that camera reminds him because obviously yeah, it is hard to stand out at first. But if you can like build your confidence, build that energy, you'll be fine. He also said. The camera is like a prop for me, not just to show people, not so people can see you. Uh, it reminds you, um, him to like move, talk to yourself, all that. Yeah, sometimes when you don't have a webcam, people can forget that you're live. And if people forget, if you forget that you're live and the people are watching, you know you're going to have a hard time. Like, for example, yeah. I remember one time I was in a streamer's uh, stream, you know, really did die. And we went over read someone, and there was this guy who was playing Apex, which is fine. He had a webcam and everything, you know, he stood out. He had like 50 people rate him. Only two people were in his stream at the time when the 50 joined, and he had no reaction whatsoever. So, really? Yeah. So, I'm saying, what I'm saying is, like, if you, if you don't have your energy there, like, it's just going to go down the drain, isn't it? But anyway, moving yeah. on from that, um, so... While we're talking on the subjects, um, is there any advice that you would give to make like your stream stand out in terms of like personality? What would you give to people who want to be more energetic? Is there like anything you would do to make sure that you can stand out in front of everyone else? Um, yeah, absolutely. First of all, just be yourself, because remember that you're gonna do it for a long time, and when you playing like if you're not yourself you will be like exhaust yourself after a while so i think the biggest advice is be yourself and then uh, also like don't hesitate to try like crazy stuff i know like the scout dan he has like really really bombastic videos that he makes and the intro and everything and it's just like part of his personality and you know it's just you so i feel uh, like you try different things and you incorporate your own personality into it and great things are happening and it works for you so that's honestly what i would uh, suggest people yeah um add on to that statement as well what you said about um trying different things i feel like it's really good so sometimes you can try different things and sometimes you can either make it go well so for instance, we I did stream advice yesterday. For those who were in the stream yesterday, I did stream reviews and it went really well surprisingly. So and that was that was the first time I never really tried it before. I wanted to try something new and that's what I did and it worked fine. So if you can try different things and not just stick to one thing, at the end of the day, I'm sure you'll be able to gain like a high personality and maybe that community will start a bond. Um Damon says, most important thing is to don't worry about views or numbers. If worrying about how many people you have in your stream, you just want to stress yourself out. Um, what, what so would, true. What would, you, what would you say to that, mate? That's like, I think, was my number one problem for probably my whole streaming career until like a couple months ago. So you don't want to think about how many people are chatting how many people follow you, how many people subscribe, how many people on the stream. Just detach yourself from this. Because when you're getting like hung up on it and you think about it constantly, you are distracted on your stream. People can see that you're stressing over it and it just ruins everything. And like multiple times I would like stream for a couple hours and i wasn't satisfied with the numbers and then i was like shit I, I, that, that's like that's not worth it i'm not getting what i deserve or something like that and i would just like i don't know quit for a couple of days uh, and the, it's just like unnecessary don't think about it just keep going people will eventually notice you and you will grow in my opinion yeah i also think that's a really good statement um what, what you said about that, uh, it was, it is really important because 
you want to make sure that you stand out. You want to make sure that you are energetic, intelligent, all that kind of stuff, right? Yep. Imagine if you just started, right? And you weren't in that position. You had no energy. You had no enthusiasm. Imagine how many people would come by and say hi, right? Compare that to someone with great energy, right? Um, a prime example, I would say, I would say Campbell. Campbell the Rambler, he's a really good streamer. If you haven't checked him out, go yeah. check him out. If he, he doesn't have a webcam yet, but he does have that great energy. He has connections with people and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So if you can try find that somewhere, I'm pretty sure you can get somewhere and eventually grow, you know? Mm-hmm. So, and you want to say something? Oh, uh, no, I absolutely agree with you. Shout out to Campbell, by the way. Yeah, Campbell. <laughs> Good old Campbell. Absolutely. Yeah. Right, anyway, moving on from that, um, let's talk about networking and connections. Um, so, if you wanted to give some advice for someone who's just started and they, and they wanted to get networking straight away, what advice would you give to help network with other streamers to build that connection? Don't do shortcuts, for sure. Don't go and do follow for follow. This is not networking. Don't like go to other people's streams, say hi, and then the next thing, thing is like lurk. Cause people, it, it's not a real connection and people will like, it, it's, I don't even consider this networking. I feel like networking is genuinely being a part of a community that you enjoy being in and making friends with this community. So. If you're starting out as a streamer, let's say, I don't know, you really like Apex Legends. So you can go to a, this, like a more veteran streamer like Scout or I don't know, J64 or someone who plays like Apex. And then you can like join the community, talk to people. And because you have the same interests, you kind of gonna bond together and network you know yeah that's a really good um statement now also i want to add to that so i would give like a couple of tips so the first tip i would say is and please interrupt me if i'm completely wrong here but a healthy visit is always somewhere between like 20 to 30 minutes like right? because if you just go to someone's stream and if you say hi um, you could, and if you like what they see, maybe you could build that connection for like 20 to 30 minutes. Because a healthy visit is always someone who will go by and say hi and then without nothing in return. But an unhealthy visit is when someone goes and says hi for a minute and then just leaves. Because, true, yeah, because there's like no connection. Um, second of all, follow for follow. Now, yes, I know you said don't do it, it's like shit. But, personally, I think it's all right, but you've got to make sure you do it the right way. So, only follow someone if you know you're going to check them out a lot, show support to them, go by and say hi when they're live if you have time, potentially lurk there, build that connection. Um, however, you don't follow if you can't do any of that, because, unfortunately, you get people who follow and then they won't even say hi, they'll just lurk the whole time and you just don't get nowhere. Yeah, I was talking about like, I don't know if you know about it, but there's like huge like Facebook groups and Discord servers that are just follow for follow. So what happens? Someone says, okay, here's my link. Everyone that follows this link or like my channel I'm gonna follow him back. So you instantly can get like 300, 400 followers without knowing any one of them. So that was what I was talking about, like follow for follow. But yeah, if you like, you've seen a streamer, you chatted in his chat, you feel connection, and then you followed him and then he said, okay, I'm gonna follow you back. So that's that's the best. Yeah, that's, that's what you are looking for. Of, of course, and 
you want with these Discord servers as well, you want to start building like decent connections with people in Discord. You don't want to just go up to them like, hey, everyone follow me. Don't just go in, post your link, and then leave. I've done that sometimes, and trust me, it's not worth it. When you do it, just make sure you go in, say hi, build that connection with people, start talking to people about your day-to-day -day life, what you're going to do tomorrow, what you stream, what type of content you stream, and eventually, once you build that connection with people, when you try and self-promote in the Discord, you will be able to get people who you were talking to in Discord over to your stream, and you'll be like, hi, and you'll be like, hi back, and then you start building that connection, you know? Yeah. Um, so yeah, um, another thing I would say, and obviously this is a question, so say you didn't have Discord, you didn't have social media, well actually ditch that question, if you didn't have any social medias to help promote your channel, what social medias would you recommend? Would you recommend a variety of social medias or would you recommend just one to help you get started? So if I'm basically starting over and I don't have any social media, where would I start to promote my Twitch? Um, oh gosh. Honestly, probably starting out, I'd do like YouTube maybe or Gosh, that's a hard question. Um, probably, like, do you consider Discord a uh, social media? Well, kind of. So, so, so then Discord, I'd like start a Discord and then join a couple of servers. And I think that would be a pretty good head start. So personally for me, I would say Twitter. Twitter. You get a lot of these people on Twitter who like to try to build connections with you somehow. And if eventually when you're on Twitter, you see these big streamers. And these big streamers, they know they want to help you out because they've seen you about on Twitter. And you, you seem like a very good person, right? So they would want to check you out. So sometimes I've had people where they drop me a DM and they like tell me that, oh, hey, I've been seeing your channel or I've been seeing your Twitch streams. And I noticed that you've been struggling, so they want to help. And then you would send an invite to a Discord, which would help me network with more people. So if you have Twitter, Twitter's a great start, because you can try and network that way. You can go follow people on Twitter, you know, start helping them out. And then when you post uh, tweets on Twitter, like retweeting, liking, sharing, there are all ways of like networking with people. And maybe if you're commenting on one or two tweets, then eventually the people on, who liked their tweet would eventually like go to your post and you'd be able to like uh, check out their profile and you'd be able to eventually gain that growth. And once you gain that growth, you can put your Twitch link in there and then that Twitch link would eventually uh, go higher because you have managed to network the right way on Twitter. And sometimes it's good to start a Twitter because there's people who have Discord servers that you can join as well. So I personally say Twitter and Discord. However, nah, I, I, I'm saying Twitter too right now. <laughs> you actually got me. I, I've never really gotten into Twitter, to be honest. I don't know for like why. Um, but yeah, it definitely sounded like insanely good what you just said. Yeah. Um, also, once you've built that connection as well, once you've had a decent growth on Twitter and Twitch, that's when you can start evaluating more. So I have, because I've grown so much over the past six months, I've managed to gain an Instagram, which I post daily on, and a Twitter, and uh, a Discord, and all that good stuff. So I'm trying my best, you know, but it's casual growth. Also, from my personal mistakes from the past don't go on too many social medias dude I, when I, I i got to a point where i had three youtube channels twitter instagram tiktok spotify twitch and i try to be daily active on all of these places and discord so start on one or two kind of base yourself in there and then spread to other platforms yeah, that's a, that's, a, that's a really good point because I was the exact same. I think I had Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Discord, TikTok, 
And I was trying to be active on all of them, but when you realize, when you create too many social medias and when people start following you, they want to see the consistent posts. They want to see you active on there because they follow you. They obviously want to check out your content. If you're not active on social media, they they obviously not going to come check you out, and eventually they'll unfollow, and no one wants that. Um, so yeah, let let's move on. Um, and we'll talk a little bit about social media because I, f I feel like we started talking about it, I feel like we need to dive a little bit more into it. So, first of all, um, if you wanted to create a Twitter profile or Instagram profile, what would you include on it? Because obviously it'll have to be different to your Twitch, wouldn't it? Um, not necessarily. So I'd probably like use the same design concept like the same logo this like maybe a little different banner but i always would stick to the same design so people will won't think it's a different person um but then like the content is obviously different than twitch right so i would adjust like the content that i post into every, each social media differently yeah, that that was the question. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of the question, but um, what I meant was um, it like because obviously you, you you're on Twitch, you wanna you you're like a brand on Twitch. I feel like personally, if you start a Twitter or Instagram, that's when you can like if you if you if you feel confident, put like um, a profile picture of yourself. Because if you put a profile picture of your logo, people are gonna think you're a brand. They're not gonna think that you're an actual person. And people, when you try to do that for the first time, they, they don't like it, alright? Um, but anyway, as I was saying, with um, social media, stop collaborate. He says, I use my Instagram for promotion, but also, put, uh, also personal daily stuff. And I feel like I might be relatable to my viewers and IRL friends. Twitter, for me, is almost 100% stream related. Um, what, what would you want to say on that, uh, Elephant? Yeah, I feel like Instagram for me too is a little bit, I like share more stuff from my IRL life than Twitter. I don't use a lot of Twitter, but it's basically to like share announcements and connect with people mostly on like streaming stuff. Um, uh, yeah, so like for, I, I feel like I kind of work exactly like Stop Collaborate. Um, so I, I agree with you. Yeah, I, I also agree with you on that one. Um, but he also says it's good to remind your viewers that you're a person, not just a stream robot. So yeah, exactly what we were talking about. And yeah, it re really does. But I feel like if you're posting on Instagram and Twitter, would you say that you would have to promote stream content? Or would you say that you could post like, some more personal content? So like... I don't know, maybe if you're on Twitter, you could ask them a question like, how's your day been or something? What what would you say if you wanted to post content on them platforms? I think, uh, like, it should be a nice balance of, like, of both. Because basically, this, the social platforms are places for your viewers to kind of engage with you outside of the stream. So if you are constantly, like, just only talking about your stream you're not really um giving them something special something uh interesting that's not connected to your stream right so personally on instagram i upload as as i said like irl stuff maybe some compilation like funny videos funny moments from previous streams and then on twitter i do have like um the go live and like the announcements but i also have like funny like quotes or funny thoughts that I had, or just like polls also, like more engaging stuff in general. I, I think your camera has kind of disappeared. Ah, oh, this is nice. Oh, we didn't see it. Right, I'm so sorry. I didn't even know what happened. There. That's my bad. <laughs> I think some. I think something just like clicked, and then that was it. It was just like weird. But um, I was listening to what you're saying, so I'm not being a dickhead or anything about it. But um, yeah, I think 
But uh, yeah, I feel like also with social media, it's important to know that you've got to post something different because yeah, people want to know you as a person. So they would be intrigued about like your day to day things, like what you want, what you're doing at the minute, what what you're gonna do later. Um, but yeah, if if you can if you can post content different to um, social media like your Twitch. I feel like it'd be a lot better, and I feel like personally, when you do these things, um, you'll feel like you're not a brand, and people will see you as a person. People will start following you, uh, and all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, I personally think for Instagram as well, not only you're posting like IRL stuff, maybe you could post like Twitch clips, highlights, anything about um, anything that might be like good to you personally um so when it comes to twitch clips and highlights if you guys were in the stream yesterday i mentioned the nice scope um and that's a great way to like keep your content daily so when it comes to posting content daily do you think you should do it like once or twice a week do you think you should do it every day um what what do you think would work um it's really up to you and your personal life um I personally have a full-time job outside of Twitch, so I don't really have the time to like post daily because I like usually edit and it takes time. Um, so yeah, like if you can once or even twice a day post content, so it's like amazing. Um, but if if you can, just do the maximum you can, like even twice a week is okay if that's like all the time you can spend yeah i mean a lot of people have irl things just because you're a streamer it doesn't mean that you have a life everyone has lives and it's important um for me personally i i, I really like to take advantage of the stories and the fleets you see on twitter and twitch and uh, instagram and um, if i can't post daily but if i want to keep my viewers updated I'll either screenshot a tweet from Twitter, put it on Instagram, so my Insta my Instagram viewers can see it, or I um, put it on a different uh, platform, for example. So on Instagram, I'll post like, recently on my story. Um, so I need to go for like a couple of minutes. Um, if there's any questions in the chat uh, for Elephant, while well, I go for like five ten minutes, feel free to. And to it. otherwise, Elephant, if there's any more advice you want to give, feel free, and we'll continue in like five minutes, alright? I don't interrupt it halfway conversation, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, Elephant's in charge. Be nice to him. I won't be long. Okay, cool. Alright, people. So, we are alone now over at Scout Stream. So, if you got any questions, anything you want to say, this is the time. Oh man, wasn't entirely prepared for it. it was a very like short notice. If you just want to share, what did you do today? How was your day? Also, feel free. Demon Joker, how are you doing, buddy? Nice, you're having a, a night shift today. Sweet. So what would you recommend for someone who starts streaming? What's your number one advice? Hey, what's up, Phil? I'm at work, so I have no Wi-Fi today. Hope your stream goes well. I'll watch the VOD when I get home. Cool, dude. Take it easy. Enjoy your work. Love to see all the people in the chat.
Okay, I'm back. I'm sorry. Hey, dude. <laughs> I'm good, thanks. Oh, at least you, at least you can be active compared to other people. Yeah, it was a little awkward, but... Nah, we, don't worry about we it. We made it through. <laughs> yes, indeed, indeed. Uh, Phil, how are you doing, sir? Uh, I know you're at work. I, I thank you for tuning in. I do appreciate it. Um, what what were people saying? Uh, so, Joker says, for someone who just started streaming, uh, is to be yourself. Don't worry about views. Just have fun with the games you are playing. Uh, what was what was the question you asked, uh, Elephant? So, there's... so I, I asked the viewers what was their advice to someone who just starts streaming all right okay joker said what he said and i think this is absolutely a bomb of uh, advice yeah that is a that's a good way at the end of the day if you be yourself then you're gonna make some progress right so anyway we were talking about social media um is there anything else that you would do on social media to help grow as a streamer, or is that everything that you think we've talked about? That's pretty much it, I think. Also, I don't know if we've mentioned it, but um, posting like on YouTube, especially like YouTube Shorts, have done some. I got some pretty good results with it. Um, and because the algorithm in YouTube is uh, way more, um, like helpful for newer channels, so. I, if you can also post to YouTube, that's gonna give you a nice little uh, boost to your Twitch. Yeah, I mean, YouTube Shorts. Let's, let's quickly go ahead and talk about YouTube Shorts. So, what what would you what would you recommend to people who wanted to like post on YouTube? And because YouTube Shorts is a huge advantage right now. So, for someone to post on YouTube Shorts, what 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 type of content would you recommend for them? Um, gaming highlights like funny moments um basically everything that can be short and entertaining belongs on youtube shorts um it, it's kind of like the uh, i think the competitive the youtube's competitive competition to tiktok so anything that you like would enjoy watching on tiktok you can also put it on youtube shorts and get a lot more views yeah, ab absolutely, 100% agree with you that. I mean, YouTube Shorts, it can work for some people. You just don't try to be creative with your content. I tried and uploaded it, and it didn't really work for me. But uh, when I watched Elephant's uh, vlog the other, well, clips the other day, what, 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 which one were you doing? You did um, a guitar cover, and it went really well. Which one was it? So I was doing, like, um, guitar covers of... Uh video game theme song so i i did like mario and it got like over a thousand views um i did like mortal kombat theme song also did pretty well different like video games and anime theme songs nice. i eventually stopped doing it because i uh, had uh, more uh, irl stuff and it takes a little bit of time but you can also like upload short compilation from your stream or just a nice clip downloaded from Twitch, uploaded to YouTube, and bam, you got like an extra couple hundreds or even thousand views yeah. from like zero effort. Yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah, YouTube Shorts, I highly recommend it. Uh, sometimes if you feel like you can do it, give it a shot. Obviously, just think of it as TikTok, but instead of calling it a TikTok, it's a YouTube Short, same thing. Right, anyway, so uh, we've got a couple more questions to go through. So, um, let's quickly go ahead and talk about the, oh, by the way, before we continue, if anyone has any questions in the chat they would like to ask us, feel free to, because we are getting towards the end of the podcast, um, we, we do have around 30 minutes left, so if anyone has any questions, feel free to chat, type them in the chat and we'll answer them when we get to the end of the podcast. Um, but anyway, as I was saying, let's go back to Twitch and let's talk about the about section, so... What what advice would you give to someone if they were struggling like to fill out an about section? What advice would you give? Um, try to be creative. Don't be like try to think outside of the box. You can go to other channels that are doing like that you enjoy watching and kind of take the inspiration. But try just to describe your content to the best that you can in a couple of sentences. That's basically it. 
Yeah, I mean, if you guys don't know about the uh, panels, I recommend you use them. Um, go, uh, yeah. That that's where you should be going in detail. Your panels they should be like detail. Don't obviously go personal. No one likes it when you go like really really personal. Um, yes, talk about yourself. Maybe talk about what hobbies you like, what you like to do in your free time. But don't go ahead and talk about like where you live or. Um, what what's your phone number or something like that you know don't talk about really personal stuff in there because there are some idiots online that will actually do that you know um obviously with the about section you should be creative like you know include some panels maybe a potential schedule in there and um, make it different to everyone else because people if you don't have a trailer which we'll talk about next um that about section is going to be used to help show you as a person. If you're playing the game and if you want to know a bit about you and if you're concentrating on like Valorant, for example, if you go ahead on the about section, you can actually see what people are about. Um, do you think, I, I know this is a, I don't, this is an opinion based question, um, but do you think that you could have like images of your everyday life on your about section or not? What what would you think? Because some people like it and some people don't. What what's your opinion? I on? like it. You, like the the thing that you did with the pictures. Oh yeah. Um, I like it. I think your your uh, whole section is very uh, aesthetic and looking nice. Um. So yeah, sure. Why not? If you feel like this is gonna work, go ahead and uh, do it. Yeah, I mean, it's your choice at the end of the day, only do it if you feel confident, don't do it if you don't feel confident, because you don't want to pressure yourself. Um, but yeah, there's, a, there's one more thing we're going to talk about quickly, and that's a channel trailer. Um, if you, this is only for people who have done well and you've reached affiliate. Um, so, for a channel trailer, what, what, if you wanted to watch a channel trailer for the first time, what would you want to see? like from it like would you want to see like um, someone who's talking about something what what do you want to see on that channel trailer if you're going to watch it for the first time uh, well i just want to see something that i like to see basically i mean you can really go um right or wrong here it can be um you talking it can be a compilation it can be anything basically, as long as it's uh, hooking and makes the viewer uh, understand what you're all about and wanna stick to your content. Yeah, that is a hundred percent true. And I was just about to say that. Just make something different. For example, if you look at mine, if you're here at the start of the broadcast, uh, I have my channel introduction on there, and I use my channel trailer, and because it's done so well. Uh, I kept it on there because it obviously did well on YouTube, so why not do it on Twitch? And because of that, it actually worked and everyone likes to see it. So, yeah. Um, so, final question for today. Um, how, and this is going back to streaming, I know we've talked about multiple topics today, but how would you, like, how can you be different from anyone else? Like, so how, what would you do to make sure that you were uh, stood out and different from any other streamer? Just be yourself, I guess. I mean, I'm sure you can evaluate on that. What, what, what do you think? Come on, there's no right or wrong answer here. Yeah, of course. Like, honestly, just like, be different. <laughs> Be different. That is that that is the uh, answer of the day. People be different. Yeah, just be, be different. Be special. Don't be afraid to try different stuff, and you're gonna do well. Uh huh. All right. Okay. Well, that that comes to the end of the podcast. Um, if anyone has any questions in chat, feel free to. But uh, yeah, I wasn't recording this podcast because I didn't know what it was gonna be like. But for those who have stuck around, thank you very much. I do appreciate it. Uh, Elephant, my main man, thank you very much for attending. Um, where can the viewers thank catch you. you on Twitch? Where can they catch you, uh, Elephant? So what social media do you want to promote? Go viral. Um, can you repeat the question? I think I misheard it. I was saying, is there anything you want to like shout out for your um, content? Uh, 
Like, is there anything you want to shout out? Um, okay, so I have like a brand new song that I released. I released music that you can use on your streams, copyright free. Um, so I just released a new song. It's over on my YouTube. Feel free to check that out. And I stream nowadays almost daily. I stream a game called Grim Dawn. Um, yep, I would love to see you there. Alright, uh, what, when, when, when can they catch you live on Twitch, Elephant? Um, so usually I stream, so if we're talking about like British time zone, um, usually like 4, 4 p.m. British time zone. That's where I start and I usually stream for like two hours. I gave you a shout out and because of it, everything's going viral, like what the fuck, I don't even know what went on. Sorry, I forgot about shout out player, but yeah, <laughs> go catch him, if you heard it, people, go catch him. Um, but yeah, for those who are new around here, I'm just out down at live, uh, every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday from 5pm GMT, uh, we'd love to have you on the program. And I know Jax, you just got here, I'm so sorry, but yeah, we've been talking for an hour and I didn't know what it was like, but you know what? It's been fun, as always. Uh, we're going to go on a cheeky raid now. Uh, guys, if you can, do me a favor. Go check out Elephant. He's been, like, he was so kind to do this with us. Otherwise, this wouldn't have been... Otherwise, this wouldn't have been a thing. So, if you guys can, go drop him a follow. Otherwise, I'm going to be heavily disappointed in you. I'm, I'm kidding. You'll be <laughs> fine. But, uh, okay. Uh, jerks, I'll, I'll, you could probably watch the VOD, can you? Yeah, but... Yeah, twenty four hour podcast stream. Haha, <laughs> not funny. What what can you talk about for twenty four hours? No, 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 fuck that. What can you I mean, I'm I'm off tomorrow, but I'm not gonna be on podcast for twenty four hours. Like what can you talk about? Like We can talk about anything. No, 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 I don't know what you're talking about, man. Like, Think uh, about outside of the box <laughs> as we said. Think outside of the box, that's how it goes. We can, we can talk about Alright, oh. we're gonna raid. Alright, uh, yeah, so let's, let's go ahead and see who we're gonna raid. Is there, any, is there anyone you wanna raid in particular, Elephant? Um. Not really. Come on, no, no, I see Daft is live. Daft? What's he playing right now? Oh, Final Fantasy. Uh, Final Fantasy, yeah. Okay, let's go sort of drop movie reviews. Uh, well, actually, that sounds like an insane idea. I'll probably do it like next week. We can probably do some cheeky movie reviews. But, you know. Oh, yeah. But if, if if people want to jump back on because this is a one time thing, then we'll go ahead and do that. Alright, my boy Daffy G. Oh, because it's advert! We're playing Final Fantasy, been live for 5 hours and 12 minutes. <laughs> nice, um, I, I don't want to. No, the problem is. Favorite side of the pillow. <laughs> nah, you show that. Favorite side of the pillow, you are actually dumb. But whatever. Right, okay, let's go drop a raid on my friend Daff. Um, but yeah, guys, if you can, just stick around uh, for the sh end of the stream. Go spread some hype in the chat. Thank you again for tuning in. This will probably be a weekly thing. Next week, I don't know what we're going to talk about. It'll be updated on Twitter. But other than that, thank you very much again, Elephant. And yeah, thank you. It's been a pleasure. We'll, we'll see you guys again soon on the Stout Show. Bye bye. Alright, well, just.